Welcome to Biology Made Easy. Today we are discussing the resource factor and blood transfusion. This lesson will be easy if you've checked on my lesson on the ABO blood system and blood transfusion. There's a resource antigen. This antigen was first noticed on the resource monkey. Now, the antigen, as we've always known antigens, they are on the membrane and in the red blood cells, they are on the membrane of the red blood cells. So the resus antigen is on the red blood cell membrane of humans. And those who have the antigen are said to be resus positive people. Now, red blood cells that do not have the antigen makes the people resus negative people. Good. The resus factor antibody is normally not in blood. Like you have the agglutinogens and agglutinins, the ABO system, that you have the antibodies also in the blood plasma. The resus factor antibody is not in anybody's blood plasma. But when people with resus positive blood give blood to people of resus negative, the resus negative will realize that there's a foreign matter with foreign antigen here. And so the resource negative blood will form antibodies to attack the resource positive blood cells. So resource antibodies are made only by resource negative people and they are made when resource positive blood gets into them. So they make the antibodies to destroy the resource positive blood cells. So in blood transfusion, both the ABO agglutinogens and agglutinins, as well as the resus factor antigen is needed to be taken into consideration. And so blood groups are seen as either A positive or A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, O negative. The positive signs means the person is blood group A and have resus positive. A, the negative sign means the person is blood group A, but it's A minus because it's blood group A, but resus negative, resus negative or resus positive. During blood transfusion, resus positive people can receive blood from resus positive people and also from resource negative people is because the resource negative people do not have any antigens that will produce any reaction. But resource negative people can receive blood from only resource negative people. If blood from resource positive people gets into the resource negative people, the rest of negative people will make antibodies to react with the resource positive blood. So we've made a summary of incompatible pairs. If a donor is blood group A positive, this donor cannot give blood to blood group A negative or AB negative. So all positives cannot give blood to any negative. Compatible pairs, blood group A, all negatives. You remember, blood group A can donate blood to blood group A and blood group AB. But the resource factor will have to be taken note. So blood group A negative can give blood to blood group A positive and A negative, AB positive, AB negative. So you see, that is it. Blood group O negative is really a universal donor, right? Can give blood to every blood group type. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. In our next lesson, we'll look at the resource factor antigen and marriage and newborn hemolytic diseases, right? So, so we'll meet in our next lesson. Goodbye and thank you.